Hey what's up you guys, I took your life here back with another jailbreaking video. Today I have for you guys a special video on how to crack IntelliScreen X for iOS 7 and higher. First off, what you're going to want to do is head into your Cydia, open that up and wait for it to load. Once it has loaded, you're going to want to go into your sources, right here. You're going to press edit, add, and I'll put the repo in the description below. You're going to want to add Cydia dot my repo space dot com slash nihat mola. You're going to add source. You'll have some code. It'll, that just means the source is, is being installed on your device. Once that is loaded, you're going to press on to return Cydia. Once you have done that, you're going to go into your search bar and type in Intelli Screen X. And once you've seen that, you're going to press on to the iOS 7 library. And so, um, what Intelli Screen X is. It's a tweak for to allow you to have all of your social network uh, media on your lock screen and also on your um, notification center. And so you can have your Facebook, your Twitter, your mails, your messages, and other uh, fun stuff like that on your lock screen or in your notification center. So once you have found IntelliScreen X for iOS 7, you're going to press install. It will install um, the iOS 7, iOS 7.1, and also the iOS 8, if you are on iOS 8. Uh, you're going to press continue queuing after that, and you're going to want to download a thing called Messages Plus for the iOS 7 library, and hit install. But as you guys can see... Um, I'm not running on iOS 8, but it installs automatically. It will say it won't run on iOS 8 if you're on iOS 7, but it still runs on iOS 7, even though you need it to be on iOS 8, but that's okay. You're, you're going to have this little depends thing, which means you can't download it, but you're just going to press continue queuing. And then you're going to go into your installs here, where you see the little queued. Press on that. And you're going to press on queue. As you guys can see, I have a little problem here. You're going to want to, sorry about that. You're actually just going to want to, because since it already downloads automatically, just want to go back into it and tell you. Screen. X. iOS 7 library. And you actually just want to download that, so you're going to press confirm. Here it is downloading. Wait for that to load. It might take a little while, but that's all right. It's it's a big tweak, but it's really cool. And it saves you ten bucks because it's ten dollars too. This little red thing, don't worry about it. It's normal. It says that you're not on iOS eight because I'm not on iOS eight, but you're just gonna press restart Springboard, and normally it will work. Here your device will reboot. Once it is done loading, there we go. Now your device is rebooting. Wait for that to load. There you go. Um, it might be a little buggy at first because everything needs to load, so you just don't touch your device. There you go. Um, I don't think it's finished though. Normally my mails should show up. Should show up. YouTube mails. All right. 
So there you guys go. That as you guys can see is IntelliScreen X for free on your iDevice. You will also have this little thing right here, this little bar. You tap it. Um, I'm just gonna show you. So let me just do my code. So once you have that installed, you'll go into your um, settings. Scroll down until we see IntelliScreen X. You will enable it, or yeah, you can enable it and also enable it on your lock screen if you want. But you also have it directly in your notification center, ISX, Tele Screen X. And you also have your mail, your Twitter, your Facebook, your RSS. Uh, yeah, so all of your feed on your internet. And you also have your normal notification center. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. You can also tweak around with what you want in your notification center, what you want, if you, how many lines you want to show in your mails. If you don't want to show your mails, you can disable it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool tweak. As you guys can see, it adds a little something on your lock screen. It's not that buggy for, like, a crack. And, yeah. Um, so there you guys go. Hope you like it. If you liked it, please um, subscribe, like, and comment this video. Peace.